And then last but not least for this long book haul, which I did not expect to spend this much money today. Hello book besties, it's Carol. Welcome, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing my birthday book shopping video. So stops for today is I'm gonna skip over the Target that I work at, ironically, because Daydream came out yesterday. I chose to order, pick it up, and then another book. I'm gonna go pick those up, but I'm also gonna do some shopping at the actual Target. See what's up, because I feel like I haven't really looked through the book section in a little while, and there are definitely new books that I'm like, what is that? Then I'm gonna go over to the Barnes & Noble that is now like half an hour from me then do a little shopping there see what i can get i think i'm gonna get one book from there that i know of and then i'm gonna go to one last stop which is gonna be the used bookstore which i love i love that used bookstore i'm so excited make sure to follow my socials down below along with my goodreads amazon wishlist stuff like that will be linked down there if you want to check it out like comment and subscribe for more videos by me and let's just go Bessie's just gonna have Target. Might have did some damage. <laughs> I possibly did some damage. So I got three books and I picked up the other two books that I ordered picked up yesterday, which is so funny because I'm actually the one that got my own order. I was like telling everybody, I was like, if you get these two specific books, make sure you pick the best looking copies. It was so funny. I'll f put in the clip. But now I'm going to drive to the Barnes & Noble. I think it opens about 45 minutes. I don't know how long it is. For me, it might be like half hour. So might be sitting in the parking lot for a little bit. I'm hoping not to do too much more damage. No promises though, because I could see, because so I'm like, oh my God, I need that. See me in Barnes & Noble.
All right, besties, don't mind the light. Just got out of Barnes Noble. I spent probably like 45 minutes in there. I got one book that I was going there for, and then I found another book that I wasn't looking to get. And then I was like, oh, look, it's in here. And I think I put it on my TBR for next month. So I wanted to have the physical copy. There was one book, The Veiled Kingdom by Holly Renee that I asked if they had and they didn't have it, which is fine. I'm going to make my way over to the used bookstore. All right, besties, I did not get anything in there. And I went to get my books to the girl and she goes, hi, are you donating or selling today? And I literally, it's one of those moments where you just like say whatever you think is first. And I was like, donate. And she's like, all right, just put in the bin. And I was like, damn it. No, I wanted to sell. But like, I have anxiety to be like, no, actually I wanted to sell. So I just didn't change my answer. And I just gave the two books away. It's, it's fine. I go home. I'm going to give y'all a little haul and that'll be it for this video. Hello besties! Okay, so, I'm sorry, this is really not the best angle, but we gotta work with what we got right now. I'm back from my shopping trip. I think I got a total of like seven books, which like I was not expecting to do. I was thinking maybe five at most, but I got two extra books, which is fine. We're treating ourselves. Let's start with the books that I got when I walked in there and walked around this morning. The first two are the two new covers of the gold rush rant series by elsie silver i already have the whole series in the old covers which i really really like but i just like i love the other ones too they're both so pretty and i just like love elsie silver so like i am going to in fact own every single one of her books like all editions everything i have not read these yet i don't know if i mentioned that but i'm very excited to start the series we have off to the races so pretty i love these covers i love bloom's like matte additions and what i know about this one is something to do with like horse racing and it's a small town cowboy romance which y'all know i love i love them so much and i love lc silver so got the second book in the series a photo finish i think this is about violet eaton so that's the sister to the eaton brothers which the series comes before the chestnut spring series i cannot wait to start this series so those two were on my list and then this was also on my list it's light lark by alex astor astor and this i think is like a ya fantasy i really don't know some kind of deadly game six realms break their curses and win one ruler must die to survive i look crown must lie cheat betray even as love complicates everything i've heard things about this series um this cover is really cool I think it would be good for the fall time and then the books that i ordered yesterday first one being daydream by hannah grace Third book in the Mayville Hill series. This is Henry's love story with a girl named Hallie. And I think having trouble in classes and I think she's going to tutor him, which I love a tutoring trope. It's hockey romance. I just, I really enjoy the series and I really enjoy Hannah Grace's writing style. I'm going to get to this one at some point by the end of the year because I'm so excited. And then I got this, a big old chunky book, When the Moon Hatched. This book is like, how many pages this? Like, almost 700 yeah it's like almost 700 pages it seems like a lot more than that i feel like the court of silver flames is like 600 700 pages and it does not look this thick i don't know anything about this book at all all i know is that i saw some girl on my bookstagram get like a tattoo of this dragon that's on the beginning of the chapters i was like well i need to know what the hype is i literally i just need to know and i'm so excited to read it i think it's got dragons and oh it's about an assassin who has to like figure out something it's about khan i think that's how you pronounce it he's a king and i'm sure 
they cross paths somehow with that and this just sounds so so good and i'm so excited to read it and then last but not least we're gonna go through two books i picked up at barnes one of them i went for one of them i did not so we'll start with the one that i did not go for it's the fake out by stephanie archer so if you did not watch my tbr video this is on my tbr for september and i didn't think they'd sell it because it's like indie published might as well just get this i didn't love the first one but i've heard good things about this second book and i'm really excited to read it basically it's like a fake dating romance apparently this guy is the captain he needs to look good i guess have a good reputation she needs to get back her ex so they start fake dating and then you know fall in love all that stuff so very excited for this one i feel like it can be a fun quick cute little hockey romance and then last but not least for this long book haul which i did not expect to spend this much money today unwanted by mia sheridan i think i showed you guys a little blurb but they, the person wrote like dark romance, thriller, who knows type thing. And I'm like, that's so intriguing. Like, what is this book? I don't know. I saw it when I went up to my trip with my friend. And then she's like, oh, have you seen this book or read this book? I'm like, no, I've never seen that. So I think I literally came out that day that we were there. I don't really love thrillers, but this one kind of sounds like a romantic suspense-y type thing, which I will read. So basically it's about this woman who's a wilderness guide and so she lives in a small town and she gets called in to help with a double murder investigation a guy named lucas just like lives alone in the woods i'm sure this is like his cabin maybe and you're just like figuring out this murder there's some romance i guess but i just i've heard nothing about this and nobody reading it and i'm like what if it's so good like what if it's so good and nobody knows and i feel like it'll be really good for like the fall winter time like it's getting spooky spooky vibes so glad i picked this up cannot wait to read this all right besties so that's my big old birthday i guess you could call it book shopping video where i got a lot more books than i thought i was gonna get hope you guys enjoyed i can't believe i am actually turning 21 when this comes out it'll be tomorrow september 5th i'll be 21 legally drank like that's great that's a little wild that's a little scary like this is this is adult it's giving adult to anybody if you end up wishing me a happy birthday, thank you. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. Be sure to follow my socials down below. Look like agrees, my Amazon wish list, stuff like that. We'll be linked down there if you want to check it out. If you want to send me a book for my birthday, you don't have to. I always preface, you don't have to, no pressure. But if you would like to, it'll be linked down there. Like, comment, and subscribe for more videos by me. And I'll see you guys next week for my book reorganizing video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye!